Today I've woken up and I'm sick. You know when you have that sort of clogging, what's the word? Blockage. I'm not nice in the face. So I'm going to do a little bit of a skincare routine and then I'm also going to do how a bright lip can transform everything. A lot of women are scared of a red lip. They say, oh, my teeth are too yellow, Trini, or my lips are too thin. And I just want to talk that through with you as well. But I'm gonna start off with Dr. Hauschka. My sister introduced me to it in LA in 1987. Yes. And I went to a health food store and I bought it. I loved the toner. So as I've cleaned my skin, I'm just gonna put a bit of this toner on because I want to lift and tighten my skin a bit. The other one, it's such a small little brand and it's called Hannah's Dotter. It's a serum where you don't need a moisturizer afterwards. That's all you need to know. I did some microneeding earlier today, so I'm feeling a little tingle, which makes me know how active the ingredients are. I wish you could feel my skin through the screen because it makes it feel soft. What I put on it feels incredibly raw. Their ingredients are so pure. So when I do a bright lip, I don't like to do it with a matte face. I like to do it with a really, really glowy skin. So I'm putting on BFF putting quite a lot of BFF under my eye, just give that first layer of, even this is skin tone, a little bit around my nose, a tiny bit on my forehead, not too much. Then I'm gonna take, because I am not going to do much eye, I'm gonna probably actually do my under eye. If I was doing a smoky eye, I would do my under eye last, but I'm going to do my under eye now. And I'm taking a little bit of Mary BFF eye, and this product is a bloody miracle worker. So I put it on first and I tap it in. It's got very lovely active ingredients. It's got vitamin C in it. It's got two hyaluronics in it. It's got some pe dual peptide in it too. Now I have got little marks on my skin. I'm going to just take some Just a Touch in Trintron. Just there, I mean, hardly anything. I haven't had a spot for a few years. I had used to, you know, I had spots from age 13 to 30. So I think I've had all the spots for all, the, all my life. But when I went through menopause, I also got spots back in. So I have had on and off, I know the ideas of having a spotty skin. So I'm just gonna go around this area which needs a bit of help. Using my finger helps me a lot because I feel that it blends it in so it becomes a part of my skin. But you can see now that even it's a skin tone. And I think the, the trick when you do a strong bright lip is you want your skin around to feel even. When you do blusher and you've got a bright lip, you've got to really be careful that there's a tonality. So I like the fact that the new Rossi lip to cheek is sort of between Demon and Swaney. So Electra will work for me. So I'm just going to put a little bit here just to give that little flush back in my cheek. Before I do any lip, I do a Miracle Blur. Miracle in a pot. I take and I put around. I'm putting quite a lot, do you see? It will stop my lips bleeding. It's going to fill in all the little marks I've got around my mouth. Whilst we're here, I'll do a tiny bit between my nose because I was worrying last night when I went to bed. That kind of, through the Botox, there's still a bit of a worry line. And um, I just want to clean that up like that, there. So there's different ways people can do a lip. And I'm gonna just tell you a few little tricks. Ray Morris taught me a lovely trick when I had a woman with a very small lip. And she said, draw the lip you know, less here and come out and then go in again before the end. And it really made this woman's lip look fuller. It was a very, very good trick. For me, my lips are already big. I go in and I start at the edge and I draw the line out towards the middle and then I hill it in. You get the line of a lip liner doing it this way, but you don't get the look of a lip liner. I'm gonna do the same again here. And then I like at the top to go very French style. I don't like that pouty lip. I like a really, like a, what I call a French lip. So I'm just gonna go straight across. Like that, and start filling it in. There, I mean, it makes the eyes pop, hey doodle, poppy doodle doodle. So then I'm gonna take a little bit of brow because I definitely need to strengthen the brow when I do a strong lip. I was going to do zero eye shade, but I think I'll do a tiny bit of fortune. So I'm just gonna do like that, like the smallest wash. That's what I love about eye to eye. You literally go back and forth three times. No faffing around with 10 brushes and you're done. Yeah, I'm kind of done. I'm gonna put a little bit more blusher on. So I'm going to just take Electra and I'm going to take like 
a smidgen of Ross, Rossi, a smidgen of Rossi, like that. I call it Ross because um, it's named after Ross, who works at our office, and um, he runs product marketing, and he, um, we sort of thought Rossi. No, I quite like that, you see. I am a girl who loves, actually, to have a little bit of blusher, but I'm going to go back to that bronzer, see. Going everywhere now. That's a well lip. That's a well red lip. A well red lip. <laughs> so that's it. My little red lip look using our new Rossi lip to cheek. There's a red for everyone, ladies. Be adventurous today.